Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini Tropolis of Barney, Iowa. And look what we got behind us today. This is an amazing motorcycle, another Baxter Custom Works bike. It is a 350 Classic, if you can believe that. You gotta look to really see the difference there. Of course, it does say it here, doesn't it? But uh, it's been changed quite a bit. They've done a lot of work to it. They've got these uh, Duro tires in the front and back, spoke wheels, high fender, gators. They changed them, took them to sell off. Put this little nifty headlight on there, LED headlight. Little X thing on there, of course. They kept the speedometer up there. Did the single mirror. And a good scramble is a single mirror, right? And check out the seat. Nice, tall seat, very commanding. These nifty bags, and I gotta show you this. Look at the back taillight, can y'all see it? Let me turn it on, it's really cool. There it is, <laughs> And that incorporates the blinkers. Let's turn on the uh, hazards. Can y'all see that? What a hot rod, what a hot rod, huh? Hey, let's go take that shining bike for a ride. Wahoo! Oh, I like the sound. I like the sound. I like how tall it feels. Let's take it through exhaust by Valley. <laughs> she needs to warm up. Big truck, big truck. Motorcycles and semis, that's all the run through here. <laughs> Welcome to the big metropolis of Marnie. It's an interesting way to sit. I do want a Royal Enfield Classic 350 just like this, but not modified. And this thing just, uh, it's a whole different motorcycle in that sense. I love the way it shifts. These five-speed transmissions on these 350s have got to be the best thing out there. If y'all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! I love the sound. <laughs> As it warms up, it's getting better. Let's do a quick spin test right through here. Lots of sand. I'm going to put the wheelbase below. I can't remember what it is offhand. I think it's about 54, 54 and a half inches, something like that. Look at that, huh? Just no problems at all. What a beautiful bike. Absolutely gorgeous. I like it. Hot rod. Mighty. We have made our way to South Marnie. Thing just picks up like a banshee. The pipe sounds great. Very good shifting. And like I said, and of course, very good turning. I mean, look at this, just, <laughs> I love the taller seat. It gives you a little more control, believe it or not. Excellent, excellent. I believe it's a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a dual piston vibrate and a 270 millimeter disc on the rear with a single piston vibrate. The engine is a 349cc, single cylinder, single overhead cam, two valve per cylinder, air cooled, oil cooled. Wahoo! Produces about 20 horsepower, about 20 foot pounds of torque, about 27 newton meters. An absolute hoot to ride. I love these things. I, like I said, I have one of these of my own, and I just, it's one of the funnest motorcycles there is out there. Let's do the uh, hill spin test here. <laughs> Look how tight this thing turns. Look at that. Just like nothing, you know? I love it. I just love it. If you ever make your way to the mighty mini tropics of Martin, Iowa, get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there. Make sure you try the Wahoo Burger. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boy, this thing just... <laughs> what an absolute grin. What an absolute grin. I wonder if that pipe adds more uh, power or if it just adds more excitement, you know? Either way, it's a blast. The brakes are fabulous. Standard seat height on this is around 31 and a half inches, so I'm sure it's more than that. I bet it's uh, 32, maybe 32 and a half, something like that, 830 millimeters possibly. The weight of this bike in standard form is about, oh, I love this road, this motorcycle park right there. Is about 430 pounds. I think that's uh, a little over 200 kilograms. Let's see if we can get a little wheel spin here. 
maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. <laughs> what a grin. What an absolute grin. Hey, let's do a little spin here. Oh, I should have spun the other way. I said that because we always spin to the right. I said that because we always spin to the left, I'm sorry. Hey, there was some wheel spin. So we need to practice the right side spins. Oh! <laughs> that was a little bit of spinning. I love it. This thing is just an absolute hoot to run. Let's go to this part of town. I haven't been here this, haven't been this way in a while. You know what? Let's hit this alley. What do we got here? This would make a fabulous off-roader. I did take my 350 off-roading one day. I put about 50 miles of gravel and dirt on it after going through a dirt bike park with it. And it just performed admirably. It was a real, real grin, you know. It just doesn't seem to have any trouble with power at all. It's just a beautiful thing. Hey, you know what? We haven't hit this road in a while. Grant Street, it says. <laughs> yeah, we got a little spin between gears there. I like it. See the snow on the ground there? Suspension is awesome. I think these have about uh, 130 millimeters of travel in the front, or about 5.1 inches. Can't remember the rear. The rear might have been four inches, three and a half or four, so 89 to 109 millimeters. What an absolutely fabulous motorcycle to ride. I just love this thing. Uh, the, the classic had my heart before. This one really has my heart. This is really a ball. Just a fun machine. Those tires really make a difference. I'm looking for new tires for mine, and I might consider a set of these. You know what? Let's run over to Motorcycle Park. Look at how tight this turns. Look at that, huh? Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> fabulous riding bike. That thing is a scrambler all the way around. I don't know how else to, you know, it, it, what other category does it fit in? You know, it's got the Duro tires. It's got the loud pipe, the tall seat, the gaiters, the high fenders, you know, just a beautiful thing. The uh, sump guard, just a hoot to ride. The uh, pegs are not forward. They're not back. They're not back like the Hunter Scepter. They're not forward like the uh, Meteor. They're in a perfect spot, really. I love the way this looks. By the way, this is all metal. All that stuff is. I like the way they did the seat. That's very interesting, isn't it? I may have to ask him about that. Very well done. The bags are nifty. You know, you be a good camping bike. Strap stuff on the back. The uh, taillight is very interesting, how that just kind of disappears underneath the seat. And of course, these tires. <laughs> just look at the tread. I mean, look at that. You can get your fingers in there, you know. <laughs> There's that rear brake. ABS, by the way, front and back. Shocks on the back. Dual shock rear end. I love the spoke wheels. It just looks like a, you know, classic good old field bike, I guess. You know, we're in Iowa, so we call things field bike. Just a beautiful thing. I could not find a name on these bags. I know they're on the uh, BaxterCycle.com website. Interesting bike, isn't it? Just look at that. Uh, jumping up here, you know, they took the nacelle off the bike, put this other headlight on there, this LED headlight. They did keep the speedometer so you can see your uh, mileage. This bike has about 2,500 miles on it. Minimalistic gauge, speedometer, battery light, ABS light, neutral light. There's a fuel gauge right up here. And then down here, there is a uh, odometer. And then using this button over here, information button, you can go to trip one and trip two. It's got these fabulous levers. These are my favorite uh, Royal Enfield levers of all. They're a little, a little more contoured, a little less busy. Very good lever. They work very well with these Amal style grips. Okay, so information button here, the single mirror on the bike right here. Flash to pass, low beam, high beam, blinkers, horn. Jumping over here, it's the kill switch, which is on right now, the run switch. You pull it this way, and that's the start. It's a rocker for start. And then, of course, the hazard lights right down here. I love the way the gas cap mimics the gas tank. And then look at this badging here. It's 3D. Can you see that? I hope that shows. You know, it's not a sticker. It's an applique of some sort, but it's three-dimensional. And of course, we talked about these blinkers. Let's see those on real quick. Um, here we go. <laughs> Check that out, huh? Isn't that cool? And then on the back, I like that. That is really neat. For an old guy like me, that's real uh, 22nd century stuff, you know, real spaceship stuff. Isn't that neat? The little X on the headlight right there. Yeah, this is a real, real fun looking toy, isn't it? I like that, the chrome guards there. Just a beautiful thing. The tires really make it for me. I'm, I'm gonna check into those for my 350 Classic. 
that's something I really enjoy. These bikes are tough. I was talking to a guy in India, yeah, yesterday I think it was. If you, uh, if it was you, comment in the comments below. But he was telling me how they take these uh, 350s up to the tallest pass. You know, they just go these the roads that they have up there. They're not roads by our standards. They're uh, they're trails, you know. But uh, they do it really well on these bikes. These bikes are tough as nails. Beautiful motorcycle. Beautiful motorcycle. If you all are interested in a newer used Royal Enfield like this. Triumph, classic British bike of any type. Need parts, accessories, doodads, thingamajigs. <laughs> Sweet googly woogly, whatever you need, they got it. Baxter Cycle here in Mighty Mighty Tropics of Marnie. Right there, beautiful day here. Or go to BaxterCycle.com, make sure you tell those folks, Fuzzy Biker sent you, they can help you out. <laughs> now, it's a gorgeous day, and I've got one more bike to ride, and it's a beauty. If you can, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo! Addendum to the video. Everybody always asks, so I'm going to go ahead and mention it. These are my Tourmaster Polar Tex gloves right there. Tourmaster Polar Tex. I got these at Baxter Cycle. You can get them on BaxterCycle.com. Very warm. These are my winter gloves. I got the gauntlet, you know, knuckle protection, palm protection. When I was in my